Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. So in this spread, we are going to do a Samhain spread. Now, Samhain is for witches, the new year. So really, it's a good time to set the intentions, to plant the seeds so that they can cultivate over the winter as we dream, as we sleep, as we manifest, and then they can come to fruition over the spring. So in this message, we're going to tap into what you need to release through this next year. What's going to be the biggest thing that you need to work through. Then we are going to tap into something that's going to shift, something that's going to change this year for you drastically. Okay. We're also going to tap into any messages from your ancestors, spirits, past loved ones. We'll also look at how to enhance your connection to spirit, your connection to source, so spiritual practice, things along those lines. The next card, the next placement is going to be a forecast for what's going to come to fruition if all of this takes place and what's to come after. I'll pull a few cards for advice. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. That's something that you're interested in. You're more than welcome in joining us. If you find the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. And just a little tiny announcement while we're here. I am going to release my 2024 Moon Manifestation Journal for this upcoming year. Now, it's going to channel your full moon, new moon. We're going to look at the first quarter moon and the last quarter moon and how to utilize those energies to manifest our desires. And I'm going to break it down every step of the way. It's about 100 to 120 pages. I'm not exactly done writing it yet. Hopefully it doesn't go over 120, but we will see. I will have the copies available mid-November. It's in the process of just the final touches being added on at this point. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. So let's jump in. So let's dive right into Scorpio's energy for this upcoming Samhain reading. Have a look at what's coming for 2024. Most important message here for Scorpio Spirit. What do my Scorpion friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Four of Swords. The Chariot. Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords, Six of Swords with the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. A lot of Swords energy. So this is a lot of up in your head, overthinking, overanalyzing a situation. I do feel here, Scorpio, that currently you're releasing something from you from your life that's no longer serving you. However, there is some sort of emotional attachment. And I honestly feel like this is a person that you were in a relationship. This person betrayed your trust with this Three of Swords energy. Okay. So currently, what you're going through right now is this Four of Swords energy. This is going to be releasing through 2024. It's like you're going to be coming to terms with all of this finally going to get closure and be able to move forward from this betrayal. Let's clarify the Four of Swords energy. Mm -hmm. So this is a particular person that at one point in time, Scorpio, you thought you had, like this was your soulmate. This was your twin flame. And maybe this is twin flame and separation. 
what I feel like is going on for a lot of you is this was a false twin flame and there is karmic connections that are so intense that it's hard to di differentiate between the two. I do feel here, Scorpio, that you are moving forward in this energy. So let's clarify the chariot. This is how things are going to shift moving forward. This tells me that things are going to move forward very rapidly as soon as you're able to release this overthinking. Now, how do we do that? It sometimes can be difficult depending on how intense the connection was, but everything happens for a reason. So if there's a separation, if there's a distance, even though it may not be comfortable, it's necessary. I do feel like you're moving forward in a new positive direction. I also feel like this betrayal is so intense that you're not going to be looking back. So a message from Spirit. Seven of Swords, clarified devil with the Three of Cups. So this is definitely coming out as a karmic connection. Okay, I do feel like this is false twin flame energy. So how to move forward in this energy, the Nine of Pentacles. This is like focusing on yourself, focusing on your own stability, focusing on the things that are going to move you forward practically. Money, career, finances, so getting a job, starting a business. The Nine of Pentacles is symbolic of a person who owns a business, so you could be starting new business, new career opportunities coming in, the Ace of Wands and the Emperor. The Magician with the Two of Wands, so... This is something that you've already planned out, that you've already lined up, that you've already lined yourself with, okay? So don't worry, don't stress, try not to overthink things, just lean into the routine, if that makes sense, okay? Now, I do feel like in the beginning months of 2024, there may be some conflict that you're going to have to resolve. It's most likely going to be with this false twin flame that you're releasing. So allow this to go. Allow this person to go. It's time to release this connection. I do feel like this is something that you've intuitively known for some time. It's never easy to release somebody that you've had a connection with for a long period of time. Um, or that it's intense. That devil energy with the lover's energy definitely tells me this is an intense connection. So, moving forward. Five of Wands, the Death, the Seven of Swords. This person, every time they show up into your life, they keep doing the same thing. It's like... Continuing down the same path, continuing to do the same behavior pattern, and expecting a different result. It's the definition of insanity. It's time to let this person go. They've already shown you who they are. So, let's pull a few of these lighted pathway oracle messages. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support for information on rituals for ritual kits for personal readings it's all linked below in the description box if you found the messages helpful if it's resonating please give it a thumbs up we have manifest your dreams First, release all negative thought that block your mind and limit your beliefs. Physical moves like walking and practicing yoga is good before you visualize your goals and fill them with all your senses. Then we have set boundaries. 
This protects you from absorbing too much unnecessary energy and preserves your true state of mind. And then two, 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 two. So if this is resonating with you, two, two, look up what two, 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 two means in angel numbers in numerology. In every circumstance of life, this huge change is going to bring you inner peace and harmony. All conflicts are coming to an end to give way to compassion and empathy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this upcoming energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.